Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be a chit chatty catch up, come get a coffee with me. We're going to talk about some things that I basically wanted to catch you up on as it's been crazy here on this channel over the last few months and it's only going to get even busier. So this is one you can stick on in the background. Join me on this very sunny nice day. I'm going to go and get my nails done first this morning and then I want to pop to Primark. I want to pick up a coffee and I thought we could catch up in the car and I'm going to be talking to you about Disney stuff, wedding update, Benji update, um, what else? Things that are coming up, things we've been up to, TV and movies I've been loving. It's just a you and me kind of day, so nails first and then we will head off. But uh, yeah, hope you're all well. Thanks for joining me. If you're not already, click subscribe so you don't miss all my lovely chit chatty vlogs from travels to home vlogs to hauls, everything in between. Um, I really appreciate it and give this little thumbs up. So let's go and do the day. Let's have a catch up. Right, I've just arrived at the place where I get my nails done. Jasmine has been doing my nails for like three years maybe. She does gel nails for me every two to three weeks. So it's time to get new ones. I soak them off myself at home mostly. Sometimes she soaks them off for me. Um, but before I went to Walt Disney World, I got like a really lovely baby blue with glitter and they looked so nice. And so today I'm going to do like a baby pink with glitter. I'm all done. I went for like a very nice pink glitter as you can see i did actually only have the glitter on the fourth um because i had a really pretty like pink color called petal but then once you put it on it was so sparkly and fun i was like do you know what just do it on all the nails so we did them all and i don't normally have glitter on all of my nails but when you're in disneyland paris or Walt disney World or wherever but when i'm in disneyland paris i just i know i'll feel really like sparkly and fun so i did that so now it's 12 o'clock we're going to drive to bournemouth town center and go to primark get some lunch get a coffee because i haven't had one yet today i'm really really loving costa coffee i've got these new velvet iced coffees they have a chocolate and oat one that's amazing so i want to get that i wrote a list on my phone of the things i was going to talk to you about so first of all let's just quickly give you a benji update for those of you that don't know haven't seen the video as where we talked about it or don't follow me on instagram my fiance benji he was diagnosed with a heart tumor we found out about it in february i don't like talking about it too much because it's not me it's him his health but he's been going to his appointments and the tumor hasn't changed in shape or size it's not really doing anything the doctors have given him full confirmation that he's good to fly drink alcohol go on rides and live his life fairly normally but he's very tired and he's just taking it really easy his mental health has probably been hit quite hard as well so he's sort of had days where he's been better than others but he is at home and resting he's been doing light exercise and going to the gym he's playing golf with my brother today so they've been doing that and he's been seeing his friends and family and just yeah having some time away from working which has been really good for him he's been helping me a lot as well which has been so amazing and it's still such early days really so we don't know if he'll need surgery to remove the tumor in the future at the moment it seems pretty stable so He's doing okay and I just want to say thank you to all of you that ask about him and um, are so polite and respectful because it, like I said, it's not my health but it was important to update you because it makes more sense into giving you a Disney update. Um, so we cancelled our Walt Disney World trip as a lot of you know and then I got the opportunity to go out with the press team. I wasn't allowed a plus one so it all just sort of worked out weirdly. Obviously I wanted Benj to be with me and it wasn't the same, it really wasn't the same without him and I said to one of my friends that I realise now that it is Disney as a place but Benji makes everything feel more magical and for me that happy bubble is him and I being big kids running around the parks he'll encourage me to do something that maybe I didn't think to do and I'll show him a really cool restaurant and then you know we'll do something spontaneous I just love the way we do Disney together and it is just our happy place and I 
recognize that although i can go there with a group with a friend on a press trip solo whatever it will never quite be the same but that doesn't take away from the fact that i still was so grateful to go obviously it was an incredible opportunity it was so fast that it felt like a dream you know when you look back and you're like did i actually do that was that actually a thing i genuinely went to walt disney world with disney it still blows my mind and to be invited and to be asked to do that is just, yeah, I feel so honoured. So massive thank you to Disney. I will say, just talking about my Florida trip, that it was so unbearably hot for me. I don't know if it's because I didn't take much downtime as well, so I didn't get a chance to like go for a swim in the pool in the middle of the day, and I was running around quite a lot, but it was so warm that my eyes were like bloodshot. It's got me thinking a lot more about when we go back. We're going to do Disneyland Paris, which is the trip we but to replace cancelling Florida. I'm really excited about it. Benji's going to see how he is around the parks and um, just be back in the magic together. And I really love Disneyland Paris. I used to go all the time when I was a kid. It is very unfortunate timing because we're just missing the opening of the new Avengers Campus but i don't mind it just means i'm gonna have to go back again doesn't it what a shame but no seriously i'm just grateful that we get to go i'm really excited we've booked this trip ourselves so we will be on the way to london as you see this vlog so that's so exciting and then if that goes well and we're confident about benj being um back in walt disney world i'm looking well we're looking at booking before the end of the year which is crazy but we just figured with benji possibly being off and maybe doing light work or uh, self-employed work that now is sort of the best time and we have been looking at offers for 2023 with the dining credit you get but actually some of the deals are coming out better like cheaper to go this year and not getting the credit so we've been looking at dates we've been exploring what will work for us um and i'm actually getting quite booked up with brand work now i'm about three months ahead of all of the um, brand collaborations you see all booked in. And some of those are travel opportunities, which I'll talk to you more about in a minute. But yeah, it's so exciting. And we both just really wanna go back to Florida together. Like now I've done my trip recently, I learned so much and there were yeah loads of learnings I took away. So what I think I'll do is once we've um, done this trip, I would love to do a Disneyland Paris tips video for you so i'll talk about what went well what we booked how much it costs how much to budget for like i'm gonna try and do a whole sort of wrap up video and that will come a few weeks after the vlogs so you're gonna get a pack with me video next week then there'll be three vlogs a few weeks after that there'll be a disneyland paris tips video and then by that time i'm hoping we have booked something for Walt Disney World and I'll talk to you more about that then so not to be too confused with this crossover of Paris and Florida um, but I will be covering everything do not worry uh, so yeah that's trips and then speaking of trips while we're here and I don't uh, forget I've also been invited to Tenerife on a press trip with one of my favorite brands ever Benji is not uh, coming on this one it's one of those ones where no one has a plus one so there'll be like 15 um, content creators on it so I'm looking forward to sharing more about that with you very soon so it's quite quick after Disneyland Paris so there'll be a Tenerife vlog as well and it's a really cool opportunity it's really exciting a lot of you know I love Tenerife my favorite water park in the whole wide world is there Scion Park so I'm really really looking forward to that so you're gonna have loads of fun videos also as I'm here and speaking about it coming up we're going back to Harry Potter studio tours Benji's actually never been to the one in Watford in London or just outside London so we're gonna do that and they've got an opening for what's it called i wrote it down mandrakes and magical creatures looks like it's like a greenhouse thing or something so i'm really looking forward to that we're going to that i'm gonna vlog that experience as well because i want to see benji's reactions to things so that would be really cool i think that's everything for now i'm gonna run inside do primark get my lunch and when i come back out i'm gonna talk to you a bit more about wedding stuff what else you've been up to and then just some favorites and other bits and bobs that i was going to share i'm back in my car they had no sandwiches in costa so i did get my iced oat and chocolate latte i will say it's weirdly warm when you first get it like they put ice in it but it's you have to let the ice cool the drink down like they don't give it to you like ice cold if that makes any sense but once it's cold it's great so got that and then i went over to greg's and they didn't have any sausage rolls so 
I got a steak bake, which I haven't had in so long. So I'm just munching on this and then I will chat to you and show you my Primark bits as well. I'm gonna keep the roof open because it's quite nice. I am just thinking about the rest of the week. We are seeing some friends over the bank holiday weekend and then we're going to a wedding before we obviously get ready to go to Disneyland Paris. Um, but speaking of weddings, Benj and I got engaged in February and we're still very much living in this little engagement bubble, loving being engaged and being his fiance say and we're getting used to calling each other fiancés now i just love him more and more each day i also love my ring so much and if you don't know our engagement story we did a whole video on it but we picked the ring designed it had it made together i'm so used to wearing it now i absolutely love it feels like it's always meant to be there and it's so sparkly and pretty and i just feel just Every time I look at it, I think of him and us and that experience. And it just felt like yesterday that he got down on one knee on the beach and said such lovely words. And I think because Benji used to work away Monday to Friday, he only really came home weekends or like one night in the middle of the week. We're not used to spending so much time together. Being engaged and then just being together 24 seven, it's like we've had this weird special time together and obviously i've been very busy and i i am working but yeah we're just spending loads of quality time together and it's been amazing and because we've had all this time together we've had a lot of time to process our wedding and what we want and we actually know the date we want to get married and we've been exploring all our options i think if our engagement was anything to go by it was very unconventional untraditional our wedding's gonna be the same we no, we want to elope so i can tell you that i'm not going to share much more because we still haven't finalized the exact details but we are quite confident we know exactly what we want we both have been on the same page about it very early on like a few months ago and we're just basically trying to organize all the logistics work out the legalities around getting married abroad and um, if we go by ourselves if we have family it, you know there's loads of layers to it and we've started telling our close friends and family our intentions so everyone's aware that we are not going to be having a traditional wedding i think it's quite likely that we'll end up having uh like a maybe a party when we come back but all of those details i will share with you later down the line it might be several months down the line it might be beginning of next year i'm not 100 sure yet but i can tell you we want to elope so let me know if any of you have eloped what that experience was like any pros and cons anything you wish you'd known i want it all we've been exploring lots of options it's so exciting we've kind of almost done it backwards in in the sense that we know where we want to have our honeymoon and then we're just sort of working out do we then elope and then go straight on honeymoon that kind of thing so yeah like i say loads of things but it's so exciting this wedding we go to on saturday will be the first wedding we attend as an engaged couple so i'm really i just i feel so giddy even talking about it i just i love benji so much i i could honestly sit here and talk to you all day about weddings because i find it so fascinating and i'm learning so much and the wedding industry to me is a minefield and i hear of so many stories and brides having these experiences and feeling so stressed and I don't want to be stressed about it I just want to enjoy the process and yeah soak it all up I've always said that all along I just want to soak it all up but that's pretty much it that's all I can tell you so far so hopefully I will be able to share more details with you once we have them oh my gosh it's so good I don't know what's happened to my straw though it's gone all soggy oh no I don't like a soggy straw today is Bonnie's gotcha day and in the world of rehoming and rescuing pets a lot of them have a gotcha day which i learned about when we rehomed bonnie and it's the day that you pick up your dog because some rescue dogs don't have birthdays uh so we actually do know bonnie's birthday because she had a microchip so we do have um her date of birth we still celebrate the gotcha day because it's special isn't it like that was the day we picked her up two years ago and she is doing so good she's a darling girl honestly she is a gem i feel myself feeling emotional when i talk about her because i love her so much she's just the best dog i could ever ask for she's so well behaved she loves the beach she loves her toys she loves sleeping on our bed she's got her routines she's got a really good diet 
she's healthy my dog mummy heart is so full and i just feel so blessed that we can celebrate two years with her today so oh that's exciting other things we went to see waitress the musical last week at the mayflower theater in southampton we'd already seen it once before in london and benji absolutely loves it it's one of his favorite shows so we saw that matt willis did his last performance as the doctor and jenna was played by chelsea someone i forgot her surname but she was amazing the whole cast were amazing actually we've also got six the musical book which i've been wanting to see for so long so we're going to see that in a couple of weeks so that's exciting so that's the theater stuff i will show you briefly what i got in primark so i wanted a couple of new bits to wear to disneyland paris and i know they had some disney t-shirts in so i picked up two this one was five pound and it is quite a loud disney top like all the characters on it like that i feel like my disney outfits are either going really really disney or i'm wearing more like dresses like this with ears and a bag and being more subtle i'm finding that i want outfits that i'm comfy in and that make me feel good but i do like to have like a disney outfit so i've got that t-shirt but i also saw this one i got a medium size 12 to 14 which it's really baggy so they've got loads of oversized tees they actually i'll show you on screen so this one i tried on with this pair of shorts that you can see so i'll show you those but um yeah i thought it looked quite cute that outfit together and then this top i tried on in a couple of bigger sizes too to see if i could wear it as like an oversized tee dress but it didn't quite look right so yeah i went with the medium it was eight pound um and then obviously you would have just seen those shorts they were 13 pound got a size six because there's loads of stretch in them normally i go up in primark denim quite like the little belt and i loved the big pockets when you're vlogging and holding things and i've got a phone pockets like this are so handy so yeah i got those i did try on this dress that you were seeing which is actually what i went in there for it was so nice and i loved the design on the back and i was gonna try and wear it with a belt the extra large was too big on the sleeves and then the large i just don't think there was enough material to make it into like a dress with a belt so i didn't get that that's actually what i went in there for but didn't get it but i did get this dress this is a really pretty light easy summery dress it was nine pound and again as you can see it's just floaty stretchy comfy i love these style of dresses it's very similar to what i'm wearing today i picked up another pack of the footies footies they call them uh socks that are basically perfect to wear with my trainers that are like low cut if that makes sense and then last but not least i saw these funko pops in there i don't actually collect many funko pops and all the ones i have i have them out of boxes on display i just think they're really cute i've got them in my office but these ones i feel like i want to put them away or maybe not maybe they will look good in my um in my spare room but ariel's one of my favorite princesses so i got this is a primark exclusive from the diamond collection they also do aurora jasmine and tiana and i also saw a bell actually in there so i don't know why bell's not on the back but as you can see she's all sparkly the box is so nice and this was 12 pound and then this one's also a primark exclusive diamond collection it's the phil hart mickey and it actually says walt disney world 50 on the back and this one was also 12 pound and he's really sparkly i absolutely love him the last two things i was just going to touch on quickly were tv and movies and books so last year i read one book and i used to be an avid reader and when the new year rolled around and i was making my resolutions and goals i set myself a small goal of five novels like five books to read this year and honestly i thought that was a bit small and like what's the point in setting such a small goal but going from no books to five i thought was quite a good uh, goal to reach i'm basically on the beth o'leary hype if you know you know she has an amazing book called the flat share which i absolutely adored it was such a great read so i went on to the road trip next and i didn't love it as much i struggled for the first half and then i really enjoyed the second half that was my second beth o'leary book and the third one and that i'm on right now is the switch i know she has a new one called the no show but they only have hardback right now so i thought i'd do the switch next and then if i really like that then i might move on to the no show but i'm just enjoying picking up reading when i can and having some downtime sitting in the garden on our lovely new furniture if you watch that vlog the last home vlog we um showed you the new furniture but i've been really enjoying sitting out there with the book and then i just thought i'd run you through some tv stuff movies we haven't seen a lot of films we did go and see the lost city at the cinema which we liked we still need to watch doctor strange 
um, the new Fantastic Beasts and oh Benjini wants to see Top Gun because Top Gun's one of his all-time favorite films and we still haven't seen the new one so I've got quite a few films to see at the cinema. TV stuff, I'm obsessed with the Kardashians on Disney Plus. I used to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians like years and years ago, but I've started fresh with the new season or series that's on Disney Plus and it's really good. It's just such easy light watch, so I've been enjoying that. We also, in a complete contrast on Disney Plus, watched Obi-Wan Kenobi, so we've been enjoying the first few episodes of that. So great. I'm really getting more and more into Star Wars. I don't know if it's the more I fall in love with Galaxy's Edge and the more time I spent there and I celebrated May the 4th. I have loved Rise of the Resistance as a ride. I'm starting to find myself gravitating more towards enjoying Star Wars things. We are also watching um, Boba Fett and there's gonna be a new Mandalorian. So yeah, I'm enjoying that with Benj. It's quite a good watch for us. We've also started How I Met Your Father, which features Hilary Duff. We absolutely loved How I Met Your Mother, but we're not loving How I Met Your Father. Uh, we are still persisting with it because we're about six episodes in now so we are watching that but not falling in love with it just yet i completely binge watched selling sunset on the plane loved the latest series i just absolutely love it i know it's like totally scripted but it's the same guy adam what's his name that made the hills and 90210 and i think anything he does i just seem to always love and bridgerton i binge watched bridgerton absolutely love bridgerton up there is one of my favorite shows so that was great and the only other thing i'm really looking forward to is only murderers in the building that's got selena gomez in oh my gosh i love it the first season was amazing and the second season comes out this month so yeah that will be really really great i don't have a lot more to tell you i think that's basically the updates i feel like my whole life is disney 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 wedding planning supporting my family and Benj and editing vlogs for you. I'm trying really hard to do as much as I can what with the planning guide for Disneyland Paris I want to work on, the pack with me video which I know will come after the trip technically so you'll probably see my outfits and stuff on Instagram so make sure you follow me over there. I'm at BroganTateXO and i also make like reels and other content over there that you don't see on youtube i also often have exclusive discount codes and i always share stuff on stories and i do countdowns so you know when the next videos come up but my schedule at the moment is mondays and thursdays it used to be tuesdays and thursdays but i've kind of switched it i don't really like to say a schedule but that's when you can usually expect um videos once or twice a week and i'm just really loving my youtube channel at the moment the walt disney world vlogs took me absolutely hours and hours and hours to edit it but they were so worth it and so many of you loved them and it's given me this new drive to make more and more Disney and travel vlogs and fun content. I'm just so excited and I feel so much gratitude that the world is like opening up and things are feeling more normal. Yeah, there's so many things coming up and so many opportunities and I just love it. So that is everything to tell you. It's been so lovely sat here in the sun in the car with you. So thank you for watching this very random chit chatty vlog. I know a lot of you love them though. So make sure you click subscribe. I'll be back so soon. The Disneyland Paris pack with me will be next thank you for watching have a great rest of your day big love to you guys and i'll see you very soon bye <laughs>